an epic car week. Did I? Yeah, there's some. There's a lot of good stuff for sure. Mm -hmm. steering fault go to the service center this will be fun trying to back up and crank the wheel yeah. it's it's because yeah it, it's completely turned off it's like driving a 1970s or 60s car what no watch this will be fantastic why why what's oh wait no it's there it's there it just thinks it's off so sometimes it will be completely off and i'm like oh my gosh I, it's fair to turn it um but uh Classic McLaren, we'll drive, that message will go away. You just have to drive it. Like, it just... Just wants to drive it. Yeah, if, if not all of the, um, if not all of the computers are like, happy, they'll just trip something and then you're like, go to the service center. This is where most McLaren owners are like, I hate McLaren. And you're like, just drive it. It'll go away, it's fine. It's just like trying to think. It's gotta calibrate itself. So what I got, like almost 17,000 miles on this? Yeah. That's how you do it. <laughs> that's, how you, that's how you fix a McLaren. You drive it. <laughs> Dude, I forget just how visible everything it's is. All the car. glass, no, it's total bubble. And that, you know what? That's what the Valkyrie Spider, it's got, it's it's basically a, a race glass roof. It's got these little that's awesome. wings that come up. And then it goes like, the doors go up kind of like, uh, I don't know what you would call it, like little bat wings. That thing is crazy. A lot of pissed off Valkyrie owners. Valhalla? Or no, Valkyrie? Valkyrie. Val guys that bought the Valkyrie thinking 150 cars and that's it. Well, you got now, now you got 50 AMR Pros. So now we're 200. Now you got 85 Spiders. See what I'm saying? Mm. They're thinking they're like so exclusive, which they still are. But. I don't know, I don't think you can go wrong with Valkyrie. I think it's such a crazy car that uh, there's no chance you go wrong on that. So, let me tell you a couple of the performance things they told us. In the wind tunnel, um, driving Valkyrie, and it's got a rolling road, right? In the wind tunnel, it's producing 2,000 kg of downforce. It's 4,400 pounds. The car only weighs 2,400 pounds, almost double its body weight. So it can it could literally drive upside down. It could drive upside down, probably at like 50. <laughs> because, <laughs> um, that's at speed, right? So, but you only need half of that yeah. to drive upside down. So they had to actually release some of the pressure because it was pulling the rolling road up to the car. Oh it my was gosh. taking the rolling road off its track. It was sucking the road it was up. Sucking the road up. <laughs> and then the tires blew. It blew the tires off their rims from the downforce. So like, oh, we gotta let some of that escape. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? It is awesome. Dude, the thing is nuts. And uh, yeah, even Valhalla. Valhalla produces 650 kg, which is nowhere near 2,000 kg. But that's still, you know, what, 1,500-ish uh, pounds of downforce. Now, Valhalla weighs 3,300 plus pounds. But half its body weight at 150 miles an hour, pretty good downforce. And they said that um, that the Valhalla will actually lap the Nurburgring faster than Valkyrie. Really? Why? Wow. Valkyrie's too low. It's got too much downforce, and there's too many bumps on the Nurburgring. It would bottom out, so they couldn't even drive it at speed oh, on that track. So Aston's chance to set a production car record is with Val Valhalla. But uh, I love it from the back. I love it from the side. I still can't get over the duck bill. Really? I can't. I can't. I'm really struggling with that design cue. Mm. It's almost like it's almost like they made the front long enough for a front engine, but it also has a, a rear engine. I don't know. The proportion to me is off. I see a lot of people being like, "Oh, that's beautiful." It's Lines are great, and I see other people like, why do they do that to the front? I don't know. But I will tell you, there is a car there that I really, really, really liked. And that's the V12 Speedster. Yeah. Dude, in the flesh, that thing's cool. I'll bet. I'll oh, bet. Oh, man. And uh, it's really a super Legera, 
before Super Legero. It's like 700 horsepower instead of 715 or whatever it is. Okay. Um, but without a roof and without a windshield. The problem is it's track only. It is a track only? It's track only because of, for the U.S. Everywhere else it's fine. Really? The U.S. won't let you uh, license it. I, like the windshields are like this tall. There's no windshield wiper. Well, the windshield's only this tall. It's not, you know, it's, what's the point? And there's a bunch of other little things that won't pass. That's a bummer. Well, there's only 88 will be built worldwide. That's awesome. Only seven allocations left. That's awesome. None of which are coming to the U.S. yet. Huh. So I'm like, even if it's track only, I don't know if I can go wrong on that buying one. Yeah. The one in the U.S. The one in the U.S. So there may be, there's one other dude that is like looking at it. So Aston Martin is looking into a show on display. Because you can put like 2,500 miles in the car per year in the show on display. That would be awesome. Show on display. Now I'm really interested. That would solve it. That solves it. That solves it because you don't want to put more than that many miles on it. I don't want to put more than that on it. So I'm really interested in that car because Valhalla is now two years out. We were supposed to take delivery this fall. Uh, now it's two years from now. Well, two years from now, I could buy a Speedster, enjoy that. If I have the means at that time to also buy a Valhalla, cool. Or flip the Speedster, pays for the Valhalla. That'd be awesome. So kind of playing in that space. A what bit. would you do with the Speedster as far as... Uh I would expect that. Dude, there's a lot of options. I sent you that this morning. Uh -huh. They sent me over the dealer spec sheet uh -huh. for how you can spec it. Uh -huh. Definitely need your help on that. But, I don't know, I have to figure out if, if we're gonna make that.